Hey everybody, we saw some interesting offense from Ireland earlier. Now, I heard a story that when Dublin team Gravity struggled to play defense against Spice's hex structure at UK Tour, they went away and decided to train their defense to play against hex, so they asked their offense to mimic it. Now, when their offense played it, they decided it really suited the way that they wanted to play and said, hey, why don't we just play this against other teams? And so they stuck with it. Today we saw the Ireland women play Hex against GB in the opening game at Europeans in Limerick. That was beautiful flow. I love that initial setup of, it even seems a bit like a hexagon setup, making it easy to, to spread out space and move it from one side to the other, and then they use that space on the far side of the pitch to get a goal here. Ireland's offense is incredibly spread out across the field, and the hat is pushed slightly downfield, which opens up a large space underneath. Once Ireland moves the disc to the middle of the field, it's clear the GB defenders are using their awareness to poach downfield and shrink the space but allow the possibility of lateral movement. After bouncing the disc to the far side, Doyle goes for the return but there's already a player cutting into that space that so they pull out. The rest of the point looks like a fairly standard attacking up the sideline with undercuts, resets and moves up the line. Boyd makes a move behind. But look again at the players who don't touch the disc. Boyd and Barron hang back, just like we've seen Singapore do, staying connected and holding the negative space. And if you are an Irish fan, you should come join us in Limerick. All week long, there'll be great games in all three divisions for you to cheer on. To finish the point, Doyle shows good throw and go technique to beat their mark to the open side corner, and Barron catches and throws in 0.7 seconds to use the small space in good time. Barron pops it right back in for the score. The next time the GB defense faced the Ireland offense, we see the white cross again this time with purpose. They've placed Deniston exactly where the first and most devastating pass of the last possession was. This gives Ireland more negative space and open players in the backfield, but with the middle overloaded by GB, Irish eyes are instead drawn to the numerical advantage deep. Take particular note of how active Long is when moving to cover nearby threats. So Hart, Boyd and Barron in the backfield. Looking for cutters down there. And they're forced to go over the top. Doyle, it's overshooting and great defensive pressure and presence. It wasn't a bad idea by Ireland, but maybe hitting this space with an overhead or an upside down backhand would have been better. Half of the players and coaches on GB have played plenty of hex before in other teams, so when they heard the Ireland players calling I'm hat on the field, they recognised it immediately and made adjustments. Head over to Alti TV to see how Ireland countered those adjustments or just to get a full face of rain so you can feel just like we do here in Limerick. Boy, Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon. Trying to find somebody and it's somehow collected phenomenal stuff. Nee Vinicon with the big time collection and that's the hustle plays we're talking about, Christina. Definitely. That was amazing stuff and just what the Irish need, a quick, clean hold. Doesn't get much quicker or cleaner than that. Well, it can get a little cleaner. Yeah, I was just going to say, I bet there's quite some dirt on that jersey. Clean enough, though, because the rain will wash it right off again.